All right, welcome back to more Mega Man Powered Down. Today we will be continuing on with Oil Man. I decided on. Um, yeah, <laughs> it seems like a very appropriate boss to go on from here. So yeah, let's just dive into it. Um, I assume there will be oil in this stage. Like that would make sense. Um, so yeah, um, I will have to be careful using my fire weapon in here, Firestorm. I guess it could hurt myself more than do good in here, I guess. It's a very real possibility anyway. <laughs> Listen to this tune! What the heck? I love it! <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, it's so fascinating hearing new tunes. You know what? I should actually crank up the volume a little bit. Hang on a second. There we go! With the power of editing, that only took one second. Okay. It should be a little bit louder now. Just barely. But yeah, here we go. Uh, I guess these here are some kind of oil barrels. And yeah, this here is what I mean. If I fire the fire weapon down here or the firestorm, I can't pass uh, through here. I'll just screw myself up. Um, because, yeah, <laughs> you light it on fire, so don't do that. That's dumb. <laughs> Maybe, maybe Fireman isn't the way to go here, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe I was overthinking it a little bit. Holy crap, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep abusing the Ice Slasher, that's why we have it, you know. It's a very powerful weapon, so might as well. You know, the fire weapon will come in handy against uh, Octo Batteries and, uh, you know, those little spine enemies there. And, of course, for breaking these. And yeah, I should have... Okay, okay, nice. It filled up the ice weapon there. Very nice. Mm. There we go. And I guess here is the wait and go now. Very nice timing. Wow. I froze him on the last frame. Uh, eh, no, <laughs> couldn't quite make it. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I I'm probably going to like accidentally fire off the cutter weapon there a few times more. Maybe I should just do his stage next so that, you know, so that I don't do it by accident anymore, basically, you know. Yeah, I don't think we will be able to get that Yasichi the there, oh, actually. Well, do I even need it though? Nope, I really don't need it. Well, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute, it gives health. Definitely go get it. <laughs> hmm. That guy is just firing into the wall there. I wonder what's... <laughs> what's his deal? Yeah, um, the last video was only, you know, lasted like 15 minutes, so I might go ahead and increase the video length there to speed up the project a little bit. Like, especially if every video is just going to be around 10 minutes, you know. Yeah, I might want to try and stick to a roughly a 15 minute uh, limit there. I think that's a pretty good time limit there. Like, I don't want to burden you guys with too many long videos or anything. Um, like, I know, even though I say that some of my videos, like, get extended to close to half a, half an hour, and that's just, yeah. That's just a little bit too much to shoe off there. <laughs> that's for damn sure. But yeah, around 15 minutes would be nice, so if I get the opportunity, I'll include three stages instead of just two there. To cover as much as possible. Oh, there is a Tyler. I did not see that at first. Dang it, dude. I keep firing the cutter. Gosh darn it. I keep cheating. Although, to be fair, I think it only does 2 damage as opposed to, you know, the 1 damage from the 
regular buster, so I guess it's not such a big deal since I actually had, you know, to sweep swap back then, you know, afterwards, after firing, so yeah, yeah. I'm losing some DPS anyway. And yeah, here we have Oil Man. Supposedly, like, <laughs> like, obviously Oil Man is not in the game, but maybe he'll be added at some point, that would be pretty cool. If the Mega Man Maker team will actually go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, and actually, I want to try firing the... Yeah, okay, this is actually it. <laughs> so, I did choose the right stage. Pretty cool. You know, now that I think about it... Um, in uh, the original Mega Man 1 game... Fireman was good as against Bombman, right? So, what's good against Bombman now, then? Huh. Maybe Fireman is good against him still, you know. I'm not sure. But yeah, let's just try and speed this up a little bit. We don't need to sit here and do this buster, only that's just... Yeah. <laughs> it's just going to take a long time. Mainly I'm interested to see how the Wily bosses will play out. Like, if they have some, you know, special rooms to them and, you know, stuff like that. And yeah, I'm also, I, I'm also thinking, like, instead of having the regular... Mega Man Maker screen here when we pop back out. Maybe I'll just go ahead and, you know, keep the uh, Robot Master uh, thing up there instead. But yeah, that's Oil Man completed. Let me just note that here on my list. And now, after we have done Oil Man, we should go ahead and do Cutman. Yeah, we're definitely doing Cutman so that I don't accidentally, you know, fire his weapon. That's, yeah, it's getting on my nerves. Get on my nerves, dude. There we go. Let's just jump right in. Yeah, 7 minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, uh, I should be able to fit 3 stages. Especially if I, like, use boss weaknesses here, you know, just to speed up things a little bit too. Against violent bosses, if they are, you know, really convoluted and, you know, pretty hard, I'll try and do the buster, you know, first hand, you know, so that we get to see some added challenge there. Ooh, I really like this. <laughs> I wish that the... I wish that some of the tunes, like, went up a little bit higher, you know, in volume. Like the... Doo -doo -dee. It's it's really cool, but yeah, once again, it would have been... I feel like it would have been even uh, cooler if it went up a little bit higher in... Uh, yeah, in, in, the, in pitch or whatever. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a musician. I don't know the correct terms or whatever. <laughs> am I am a pleb at that? A noob or whatever, will you? <laughs> but yeah, I still really like this theme here. Probably the coolest one so far. That was some sick dodging there. Mm -hmm. Wow. No, why? Oh, why did I have to take damage there? That was such a nice jump of me there. That was clutch, if I do say so myself. Clutch moment. Um, you know what? Let's try and use the oil here a little bit. Whoa! I'm just cruising on through here. Yeah, the old weapon is actually pretty strong. And you know what? Here, this is a opportune time for the firestorm here. But yeah, the oil slider is pretty sweet for like long hallways where you're just going from left to right or right to left. Like, it really, yeah, it, it's really overpowered since you basically can't take damage while you're on the oil as long as nobody shoots you with a projectile there. And maybe, well, actually, I don't think I'll need that energy there. Yeah, the game is very generous with energy. Like it's. Yeah, 
extremely generous with it even, so yeah, I'm not too worried about that. And yeah, now I miss a optional path there, that's a shame. I would have liked to see it, but... Whoa! Dude! <laughs> this guy! He's forcing me all the way back! What the heck? Oh, wait. Oh, I see, I see. The color is just not here because... Yeah, we're in his stage. That's why. Okay. Dang it. And he's probably... Yep, he's coming back. And you know what? I never checked here. Okay. You just had to make sure that you, you know, you couldn't walk off to the side there. This here feels like big guy territory, yeah. Yeah, I play too much of the classic games that I just, I can just feel it, you know. What the heck, we have a gyrene here! Huh, interesting. Dang, what happened here? <laughs> His job just kind of cancelled. I'm not doing so hot here. Okay, I think I do have him here. Yeah, the, yeah I definitely did not want to try any weapons on him because here with the gyre in the room, you know, it's fun with a little bit of extra challenge, like, it did not add a ton of challenge or anything, but it definitely makes it so, you know, you have to be a little bit more careful with Cutman, and you know, when the Yairi comes around there, you have to, you know, take some time out of your schedule, <laughs> you know, to dodge it before you continue your assault on Cutman there, so, yeah. Pretty cool, but now that we have Cutman's weapon, you know, we're only up to 12 minutes, so let's just get into another stage here. Um, Cutman is completed, so I'll jot that down. Complete. Now, we will do... What the heck? Let's just do Alec Man here. He's usually weak to Cutter, so... There we go. So now, we have a whole bunch of weapons here. I really like this tune too. Uh, the Ambuster, Our Cutter, Ice Slasher, Firestorm, and the Oil Slayer. Yeah, we have a lot of weapons. Um, I'll try and do this with as much as possible the Cutter here, you know. Because I will be expecting those vertical Elec guys coming in here. And, you know, having a weapon that goes up a little bit might be helpful against them. As well as dealing with the Spine enemies that usually... And yeah, this here looks like a room. Okay, I thought for sure there would be, you know, vertical electric guys in that room down below, but yeah, this here is what I mean. Like, it can be a very nice weapon for destroying these guys, and here there are probably Yokus. Yep. Pretty much like in the original, and we're going for this. Whoa, okay, he was right there. Wow, okay, okay. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> uh, there we go. Never mind, we're not doing the left path there. That was incredibly tough. I'll just go this path instead. And here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to freeze him. Oh, my God. oh, nice. Okay, now you just got to pull off this jump here. Very nice. So yeah, already, like you can already say, say, sense, um, that this stage is probably the hardest, uh, this far. Like, <laughs> I lost half my health and I've only done, well, probably not more than half the stage yet. Mm -hmm. Whoa, okay. That almost got me. It would be awesome if I could, 
could do this game without dying once, but, you know. Oh, you okay? Yeah, this is a tricky jump. There we go, that was the second. Okay, yeah, that was... That was nasty, you know. Really nasty. I also like the mechanical tile work we have here in this stage. It looks pretty sweet. And yeah, this series is also very reminiscent of the Mega Man 1 game. Like, on the right path you have the beam traps, and on the left path here we have spying enemies and, you know... Well, actually, it mixed up here. I guess this is a remake of the PSP and not, you know, of the <laughs> classic game. I'm just, you know, I'm just stuck in my old tracks, I guess. There we go. Cutter can actually deal with the meta enemies there. I should have thought of that on the earlier one there. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Uy, uy, uy. Phew. Yeah, I'm just going to chance here and yeah I picked the wrong one and we definitely want that we're just going to have to retrace our steps here there is no skipping out on the magnet beam especially if the game is going to like you know re have it required in the wildest stages like yeah we definitely have to go for it it's not an option skipping it dang I did not pay attention whoa you know what I'm going to use the Buster here, for this room up here. I think it might actually be a little bit easier. Okay now, so it's way over there. Okay. Yeah, you can actually die pretty quickly if you keep falling down in that room there, like, and you keep taking damage from the electric guys, yeah. You have to be a little bit careful in that room there. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah. So I guess we could use that to ship this out here. But I'll try and do it like this. And hopefully we don't get our first death in here. Hopefully. Dang it. Okay. Joy, joy, joy. Oh my god. Oh, yo, you know what? Here we are going to just use this. These jumps are very tricky. Holy crap. Thankfully, you know, we had the checkpoint just before, but still, that's some very nasty jumps there. You have to really. Yeah, you have to be, do a really good job if you're going to pull that off without the freaking mail beam. Yeah, I'm kind of, like, yeah, I'm kind of sold on the idea doing this game. God darn it, I did not want to do that. I'm just going to have to wait this out here. There you go, I'll just edit that out. The way that is. Dang it, I'm killing myself. <laughs> oh, crud. Take him out. Fast. If he touches me now, I'm dead. But yeah, uh, what was I saying there? Um, I'm kind of sold on the idea of doing this whole game without dying once. That would be pretty cool if I could actually pull that off. Oh crap, he's not weak against that. No! Okay. Regular boss street this. That was close. Dang it. Oh my god, I just barely made that. Just barely. 
Whew. That was intense. I really did, did not want to die there. I I just had to shut up and focus, you know. Phew. Okay, so that's Alec Man complete. I accidentally <laughs> I accidentally went went ahead and broke this complete there. Um, yeah. There we go. Complete. There we go. Correct. Correct English. Very nice. But yeah, now that we have defeated Elekman as well here, let's see, who should I go for next? I guess in the next video we'll do Gutsman, Bombman, and then Time Man. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and fit all three in the same ones. That will be nice. That will be three episodes, and then we will have two Wily Stages um, videos there. So yeah, that's probably probably how I'll handle it. But yeah, in the next one, I think I'll go ahead and do Gutsman. Gutsman doesn't drop any weapons, I don't think, but yeah, let's just do it to get him out of the way there, so, yeah! Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day!